Matthews got it. Back, looks, drifts left, throws deep, got caught! Touchdown, Detroit Lions! I see you're at the facility in Thousand Oaks, surrounded by Rams paraphernalia. I know it's been more than a month since the trade, but has that allowed you time to wrap your mind around playing for a new franchise? Yeah, it's definitely, uh, you know, giving me some uh, some time to think about it. It's obviously a big change, not only for me, but for my family, um, you know, moving across the country and, and from a place where I spent 12 years and, and became a family. So um, a lot of change, um, but we're excited about it. Obviously happy to be you know, out in the area and uh, excited to play for the Rams and, and um, you know, get this thing going. One of the most important to-do list items, were you able to negotiate your number nine jersey from John Wolford? Yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna get that done. Um, you know, it was uh, it was something that uh, was important to me and, and obviously uh, I'm excited to be, you know, staying in number nine. Uh, how about you give us the Cliff Notes version of how this trade went down from your perspective? Oh man, um, you know, obviously I went to, uh, into the, the Fords, um, you know, soon after the season ended and asked for, uh, you know, a, a trade and they were obviously nice enough to grant that. Um, and then, um, you know, one thing led to another and, and I'm, I'm now here in a, in a Rams jersey. It happened, um, you know, quickly and, um, you know, something that uh, I was actually happy it happened that way just because uh, I was sitting there stewing, thinking about, uh, could I be here, could I be there? And, and it's kind of nice to know early on in that process uh, where I was going to be. It was reported that the Rams were on your shortlist, maybe even at the top of it. How come? Um, you know, they, they were definitely, um, you know, a team that I was really interested in. Obviously, past success, I mean, it's a team that's been extremely successful. It's something I was looking for was a, the ability to step into a, to a team that, you know, was, uh, you know, shown that showed the, uh, the ability to win and, and win right now. And, and um, there's a ton of great players here, um, a great coaching staff, uh, an atmosphere of winning and, and something I'm you know excited to be a part of now. I want to take a second to read a couple of quotations about this deal to you. First, Sean, it's not about winning this trade, it's about winning the Super Bowl. And then all pro corner Jalen Ramsey, as long as he's coming to LA committed to helping us get to the Super Bowl, we're gonna welcome him with open arms. Matthew, so much has been made about your lack of postseason success so far. How do you feel about joining a franchise that really truly intends to host the Super Bowl at SoFi Stadium? I'm excited about it. Um, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, I'll take a bunch of pride in making sure that I come into work every single day, doing everything I can to help this team win. Um, it's something I've done for a long time and it, it hasn't panned out. So I'm excited to be a part of a team that, that is a proven winner and, and hopefully I can, uh, you know, raise my level of play and, and raise those you know, guys around me level play a little bit more and, and we can get the thing done because in the end, that's what you play this game for. Uh, you play this game for team success and, um, you know, that's that's all I want to do is try to help bring that to this, uh, to this city and to this team. You know, at this moment, I think Rams fans are focused on the ratio of big time throws versus turnover worthy plays. What's your philosophy been historically in terms of finding that sweet spot between, you know, keeping plays alive and pushing balls downfield versus your primary task of protecting possessions. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think the number one stat in football is turnover, you know, turnover ratio, and, and um, that's extremely important. That's something that, um, you know, frankly, early in my career, I was on the wrong side of that sometimes and uh, found out quickly how important that is in, in winning and losing. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I do everything I can to protect the football, with at the same time, uh, knowing that explosive plays in the NFL is what helps score points, whether you score on that play or, or it, flips the field position and gets you a field goal or, or a touchdown on the next couple plays. Uh, you know, they're extremely important to have. Um, there's a bunch of playmakers on this offense that is going to make my job easy, just being able to get the ball to those guys and watch them do their thing. Uh, but at the same time, there's going to be plays in a game where uh, I have the ability to extend the play or, or make an aggressive throw. Um, you know, and, and I've, I think with experience, um, you know, 12 years of playing now, you kind of understand when and, when and where to take those shots. And, and I'm uh, obviously uh, willing to do that. You know, at 33, I wonder, some of your peers are now playing comfortably into their 40s. How long do you see yourself playing? Um, it's a great question. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, I would love to, uh, you know, I don't see the end right around the corner, that's for sure. Um, I want to keep playing for a while. Um, but uh, what Tom and Drew and, and uh, you know, a bunch of those guys have been able to do at, at such a, um, you know, an, an older an older age, I guess you could say, uh, it's, it's really impressive um, what they're able to do. So. Um, I can only hope to be playing that, that high level of football at that age, um, but uh, I'm just going to focus on me right now, uh, you know, being 33 and, and how, uh, how well I can play for this team this year. Related to that, in your mind's eye, is LA the next step of your career or maybe the last step? Um, possibly the last. You know, I'd, I'd love to, you know, make a long career here, you know, play, uh, play a bunch of years, um, have a ton of success um, as a team. That would be 
that would be uh, you know ideal for me. Um, you know, I've moved my family once now, uh, but I would like to not have to do that again. I would love to be here, and, and um, you know, obviously that's predicated on uh, me playing at a high level and this team winning a bunch of football games, which is the plan. So uh, hopefully we can get that going and, and um, make it happen. As we wind it down, I. I'm sure that it's not lost on you, the fact that the Lions are on the schedule, your first season as a Ram. Have you given any thought to what that moment might be like to play a former team for the first time? Um, yeah, it'll, it'll be the first time I career ever doing that. You know, obviously stayed in the same place in high school and college, uh, you know, and then was with one team in the NFL. So it'll be something that's totally new and foreign to me. Um, I have a ton of great friends that I'll be lifelong friends with in that organization. Um, you know, from equipment guys to team presidents to whoever. I just, I spend so much time there. I know so many people and, um, you know, that part of it is going to be interesting. Um, it'll be, it'll be fun to see him again. Um, but uh, when the ball's kicked off, all I'm going to want to do is throw a bunch of touchdowns and, and win the game. So uh, I know that's what will be going through my head probably pregame. And then once the ball snapped, it's, it's football. And, and uh, I'm going to do everything I can to help us, uh, you know, beat him. See, I think you were smart and maybe even strategic to avoid Aaron Donald as an opponent this season. <laughs> that was my number one, that was my number one uh, reason for getting out, you're right. He's uh, he's gotten me a few times. He uh, he sacked me a couple years ago at our place in Detroit and I had the ball like this and he just took both my arms and separated them and I felt like I was a 10 year old kid on a field full of full of men. So uh, I had no, I didn't know what else I was supposed to do. He just kind of held me up and, and ripped the ball from me. But uh, he's a fantastic player, um, you know, and, and obviously a, a great leader of this team. and and I'm excited to be able to work with them. Well, Matthew, welcome back to Los Angeles uh, for you and your family, and welcome to the Rams organization. Thank you very much, appreciate it.